Okay, so we're going to head across to Spain, and yes, I have the Shaka glasses. For a split second, I was, who is this guy sitting next to me? Come on, Josh. It working? I think only Shaka could pull it off. Really? Yeah. You want to you wanna try it on? Let's see, but I might be totally unrecognizable like Superman. <laughs> Who's this different guy? Who am I? No. That's Shaka Strophe. Yes. Shaka, <laughs> my tribute to you. Hmm. So, like we said, we're going to head across to Spain for your La Liga wrap-up. Barcelona, they're in action versus Valencia. Barcelona, in the last three matches, scoring over 10 goals. I think it's like four, four goals in the last game, four goals in the previous game. Just coming up goals against, yeah, for fun. Coming up against a Valencia squad with a new manager, and they couldn't get a victory. Mm. MSN was there. Messi, Suarez, and Neymar was playing. Yeah, the thing is, it's exciting as mm -hmm. a, well, a Manchester United fan, yeah. you know, uh, Neville as a coach now, yeah. which is, to me, is shocking news. Valencia is a strong La Liga team. Yeah. It's an interesting choice, but they've always picked odd choices. Mm -hmm. When they picked Rafa, nobody knew who Rafa was. Yeah. Uh, and they picked Una, Emery, and these guys, yeah. Flores, and they always did well. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, Barcelona got stopped in their tracks. Mm -hmm. um, they played, I think they were very complacent. I saw the first half and they were dancing around and yeah. treating chances and yeah. just missed. And Valencia has always been a thorn in Barcelona's side. Yeah. Have always been a thorn in Real Madrid's side. So at some point in time as well, they were saying that the Valencia um, owner mm. is good friends with Gary Neville. Yeah. So it's a bittersweet moment, a lot of Valencia players. I mean, you as a player in a competition like La Liga, mm -hmm. Valencia finished fourth last year. Mm -hmm. So they're expecting to at least finish in the top four this year as well. Yeah. A coach comes in, first time he's coaching uh, and you know, how, how would those players take it? He did win the dressing room or lose it very easily. Yeah, I think I think it's a very uh, dangerous thing they're mm -hmm. doing. Now that people know that there's a friendship thing involved, yep. it was already bad as it is because managers from the UK don't have the greatest record, yeah. with the exception of uh, Robson yeah. years ago at Barcelona. Mm -hmm. But um, I think it's a disaster waiting to happen. Mm -hmm. I hope not for the guy. <laughs> I mean, as an aspiring coach myself, yeah. this guy basically, you know. You think he would have that opportunity and actually take it? I mean, it's a great opportunity. Yeah. Anybody would want that. So I think the language barrier might be, a, and the culture. Yeah, that's also. another thing. Yeah. In Spain, the culture is very different from England. Yeah. Um, he has a big challenge. <laughs> I think he's up for it, but I think it might be a bridge too far. Once he starts, hopefully he doesn't. Yeah. Because I like Valencia. So mm -hmm. once if he starts losing, they will rip him apart and say another failed yeah. UK coach. Valencia in eighth place. So let's see if Gary Neville could take them up to that top four. So in other matches, Real Madrid, Barcelona lost. Real Madrid are behind and they need these three points. They were in action versus Getafe and they got the job done with a 4-1 victory over Getafe. Benzema scoring two, Ronaldo scoring one and mm. Bale scoring one as well. Yeah, you know, the, the Real Madrid seemed to have bounced back from that disaster, which was the Copa del Rey. Yeah. How embarrassing was that? I mean, they went through such rough waters in the past two weeks, mm -hmm. losing their classico. Mm. Then coming up with this Copa del Rey, it's good to see them back on winning. Yeah, and I know uh, Pepe had a brilliant service. Yeah, uh, the cross on Pepe was. I actually had to look twice. I was like, maybe it was Ramos or one of those yeah. guys. Yeah. Pepe on used to just kicking people down. Yeah, <laughs> brilliant cross. Good way to bounce back. Mm -hmm. um, the thing is, it's Real Madrid. So whenever they lose, it's always going to be big news. Yeah, that's the price when you want to be a galactical team. Yeah. But uh, I think Real Madrid will be all right. I still don't think they'll win La Liga. Mm -hmm. Um, I think this is a bold statement. I said it at the beginning of the season. I think Atletico Madrid will just sneak in mm -hmm. while they're both taking punches at each other. True. Speaking about Atletico, they were in action as well against Granada. And they came away victors by two goals to nil. Anthony Griezmann mm -hmm. just scoring like he's mad yeah, on the score sheet yet again. Yes. He is scoring for fun. Yes, and Godin as well on the score sheet. So they win that one by two goals to nil. So Barcelona drop points and second and third, they gain points, mm -hmm. exactly what they wanted. It's a nice tight uh, race in La Liga right now. Mm -hmm. I mean, it could easily slip, nobody's running away. Yeah. That slip up will definitely have Barcelona a little bit uneasy. Yeah. So exciting times in La Liga. But also in Real Madrid, there were reports that the fans were booing Florentino Perez at the end of the first half and at the end of the game as well. Your mm -hmm. team already, at the end of the first half, your team was up four goals in it already. And seeing the fans booing their president like that, it shows that they are really, really concerned. This is deja vu all over again. The mm -hmm. first time Pier uh, Perez was hit there, mm -hmm. they had Zidane's and the Ronaldo's and they were beating people. Valencia yeah. was on top of the league at that point in time. Yeah. 
and they would win games six nil, mm -hmm. and they would be booing players like um, <laughs> like it was crazy. Um, I remember they booed Walter Samuel, Cambiaso, mm -hmm. Raúl, and these guys. Mm -hmm. So Real Madrid fans are notoriously fickle. Yeah. And it shows that, you know, these fans are hard to please. And, yeah. you know, what can you say? Yeah, it looks like they want Florentino Perez out. So I guess time will tell if that will ever happen. Mm. Highly doubted, though. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs>